What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now you read that title so you know what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to make some chicken egg rolls. This is one of those foods that you can clear out your, you know, your refrigerator. You can put whatever you have, like your leftovers. You know they're already good, right? So listen, you can stuff these egg rolls and then fry them. And listen, it's a whole nother meal just like stir fry. Listen, super simple. I'm not going to over talk it. We finna get right into these ingredients and we finna make it happen. So look, let's just go over our ingredients right here. This is just an Asian chili sauce, right? You can use whatever chili sauce you guys have. This right here, this is sesame seed oil. Actually, it's roasted sesame seed oil. Apple cider vinegar, minced garlic, soy sauce. This is kosher salt. Now here, I already sliced up just two green onions. I even got some of the white part down, the white part of the onion down at the bottom, but this is the green tops and this was two. And this is just a tri-color. Look, it's got the carrot, the cabbage, even the, uh, the purple cabbage, everything inside of this, and it's not the wet version. You know what, you just talked about making it simple, this is it right here. And this right here is like two cups. And then of course, if we're making chicken, we gotta have ground chicken. Look, I don't wanna over talk it, it's super simple. Once I start putting this all together, you guys will see, and you're probably gonna go out and make this today. Hey, so let's get started. Okay, look, first thing I did was, I brought my pan up to heat. This is a medium high heat. I'm gonna take my ground turkey, I mean my ground chicken, put this on, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this to start going. Now you just wanna get yourself like a, I like these wooden uh, spoons with this square edge. Man, I like these. Then we'll just start breaking it up. Now, after like about four or five minutes on medium high heat, as you can see, if you look at the veggies, look, you can see they're starting to cook down and get soft. This is what you want, but you don't want to overcook the, uh, the chicken, right? So once you have it and it looks like this, then you just remove it from the heat, which I'm getting ready to do. And now we're getting ready to assemble and we're going to get ready to fry. Okay, so I got my station set up, right? So this is sitting off to the side. I got this right here. Now, what I did was, I did two tablespoons of cold water and a tablespoon of flour, right? That's just to get that little pasty mix to help seal it. Now, you wanna go ahead and get your egg roll paper, right? You get this right here, I'm gonna show you this. Now, let me get a fork. Now, with the square, you want the point facing your stomach, right? Real easy, now we're just gonna go ahead and stuff it. Now, here's the thing, you don't wanna put too much in here, cause listen, if you do, they'll tear, so. We'll just do it like this. That's enough, right? It's okay, we're gonna use our hands. Now, once we have it like this, you take the bottom, this first corner that was pointing towards your stomach, you just roll this over and have that touch the other part, right? So now look, I kinda like pull it back and tuck it in. You know, just to get it nice and tight. Bring it towards myself, I make it like a half roll and then I grab the right corner now, I just want to go ahead and hit it with my finger, you know, my little, my little liquid, because listen, this is what's going to help it, help it seal, right? We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to bring that over, and we're going to fold it. It's almost like an envelope, right? And then what we're going to do is, once we're going to make it like a little half roll, once we get it right here, where it comes to the top, just take your finger and go ahead and make all of this damp right and then we're just gonna roll it until it's complete and there you have it can you guys see that nice and easy all right all we're gonna do is now we're just gonna continue doing that i'm gonna do one more so you guys can see 
Now, again, look, this is just a recap. Spread it up a little bit just so you guys can see. Look, we're gonna stuff it. You don't wanna stuff it too, you know, too much, right? You take that point, you fold it folder, uh, you fold it forward. And if you notice, listen, we making the envelope. So listen, go ahead, dip your finger, you know, back in your paste, and then just fold it, and you'll start seeing it start to starting to look just like a uh, just like an envelope, right? Like there, I just do a little half roll, then I dip my finger back into the uh, paste, and I put it right there, just like we gonna lick the envelope and close it. Then once you roll it, look, check it out, real easy, huh? Okay, so. Here we are, this is what we're looking like. You know, just for like one pound, and it, de it, it depends really on how much you put inside the roll, but these are gonna be them right here. So now, I'm gonna check my oil temperature, and then we finna fry. Okay, so look, here we go. I'm using my uh, my T4 deep fryer, right? But you guys can use any pot that's big enough that you can, you know, submerge, you know, your egg rolls in, right? So, as you see, dump them in, put the top on, and then look, this is what they look like. Now you wanna be careful, cause listen, they do continue to like halfway cook, even though you have them out of there, so they'll brown up even more. So you see what they look like this way, and then over time, you know, they got just like a little bit darker. So I could've took them out just a little bit earlier. But that's it right there, you, you know, me putting them on a plate. You know, it's just super simple, just cut it. And listen, so for some dipping sauces, that was sweet, a sweet chili sauce, and that right there was like a thick teriyaki sauce. Hey, so you just saw it already on the plate, right? The reason I don't show the plate and so is because all you do is just like take them, you let them dry, you know what I mean? Once they hang over, however you're doing it, whether you're putting them on a, you could put them on like a, a baking sheet, put some a napkin underneath just so that they can, you know, drip whatever grease, and then you just put them on a the plate. Now you can see I got the, I got a couple of dipping sauces right here. You know what I mean? Uh, I cut one in half. It's time to dig in. Hey, look, cut this one. So let me just see if I can get it to focus on that one right there. So you guys see it? Let me just bring it a little closer. There it is right there. Now, listen, I'm finna tear into it. I got me a little teriyaki sauce. I'm just gonna dip. Ah, yeah. Hmm. I know you guys heard that crunch. I don't need to sell it. Listen, these is going down. Normally, like I said earlier, I just clear my refrigerator, put whatever inside of them. Hey, I'm gonna give you guys, a, I'm gonna give you one on this one. After Thanksgiving, your leftovers, boom. Hey, don't, hey. That's a whole nother video, and believe me, that's coming. Hey, listen, these are super easy. You're talking about two to three minutes. It depends on the color that you're looking for. You know what I mean? Once you achieve that color within two to three minutes, then flip them over for the remainder two or three minutes. And after that, just take them out. Super easy. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you've been watching me for a minute, I'm out of here, folks. Peace.